hi everyone welcome back to my channel so i hope you guys are doing well for today's video we are going to be sitting down and discussing some dating lessons we can take from the infamous laurie harvey now i recently did a case study on her and people were going insane in the comments about her saying you know she's only an ick girl because she's pretty she's only y'all only like her or do her because she's pretty i was like just chill like can you actually chill it's just a case study okay calm down but yeah i wanted to film this video on some lessons i'm taking personally away from her and from her experiences i'm not going to go into detail about the relationship she's been in or any information like about her background and stuff because you can go and watch the it girl case study one of the reasons why she is well known is due to her dating pursuits and her dating men with money men who have a high status in society whether good or bad but essentially i will be extracting lessons from her experiences and i'll be sharing these things with you that i feel like we as women whether young or more in the grown age can take away and use in our own dating experiences rule one that i've learned from laurie harvey is understanding what value a man can bring to your life this could be financially this could be mentally, this could be emotionally, this could be physically, this could be spiritually, it doesn't really matter but he has to add some sort of value into your life. You can't just be going in it willy nilly like I'm blind and in love, no. It's like we gotta think practical about it. And one thing I've learned from Lori, the men that she's dated has provided her with something, some sort of value. And of course it's probably more career wise, financial wise, but that's still value. That's still gonna benefit her when she leaves that relationship. She's gonna be a lot more known, recognized, and talked about and discussed about. At the end of the day, whether you like her or you hate her, she's in your mouth which means you're talking about her, which means she's relevant. The clout that she's gotten from this relationship has added her value, maybe in her finance, because the more she's talked about, the more brands are gonna recognize her and wanna work with her. Say all of that to say, it's important for us women to understand what a man is going to add into our lives, that value. And it's important for us to understand what value we want from them, because maybe it's a thing where he might provide you with emotional value, but you don't want that you might want financial value or physical value. They need to get clear so you know which energy to entertain. So a question you can ask yourself to ensure that you're doing this is, how can I benefit from what this situationship, relationship, or just this talking stage is right now? Am I benefiting in any way? If the answer is no, then you know you can walk away because what this is gonna ensure is you're not caught up in toxic dating situations. The second rule that I've learned from Laurie when it comes to dating is knowing the value and what you bring into the relationship. I hate the phrase, what do you bring to the table? That's literally broke boy talk, but we'll discuss that phrase in another video because I want that to be a whole separate thing. But essentially, Laurie knows what she brings. Now people can argue in the comments and argue with themselves and say she only brings prettiness but none of us truly know her or have met her in real life which means we don't know how she is mentally or emotionally and clearly she does bring something and she knows she brings something which is why it's so easy for her to leave a situation if it's not adding to her life. So it's important that you know that you are a valuable child of God and you are adding some, you bring something. You could be a girl that can cook like cook like and if that's the case you need to make it clear that yo if i'm not getting what i need i ain't cooking for you again we will discuss that in another video because i do want to discuss the whole cooking dynamics and all of that's very really important to keep that issue to yourself and not just brag about it to men because they will use you for it okay understand exactly what you're bringing into a relationship and what value you can add can write this down on a sheet of paper and read it over to yourself often or you can get your your phone and in notes just create like a little notes page saying the value or benefits from dating me write down all those qualities and read it over to yourself so you can remind yourself yo i don't need to be going through all of this when i add all of this value to a man's life i need to bounce the next rule I have learned from Lori or lesson is the fact that Lori knows there are plenty of fish in the sea 
and so she's not afraid to leave she doesn't have a scarcity mindset we as women and i'm guilty of this we think there isn't enough men or enough high quality men so we start to settle with whatever we're given and i want to be the one to say no sis there's plenty of them just like there's plenty of money out there the same way a lot of people have a financial scarcity mindset women have a dating scarcity mindset and they think there's not enough men there is but you just have to make sure you're picking wisely. One thing I always like to say is when you elevate and level up, a lot of people be like, oh, you only attract bummy men because you aren't the best version of yourself. Even when you're the best version of yourself, you're still gonna attract these bummy men. But because you're at a better version of yourself, you're not gonna entertain it. You're literally gonna be like, that would be the worst thing that could ever happen to me if i ever entertained it and that's because you've developed a new mental thought process right whatever you constantly tell yourself will start to become your reality so if you feel like there isn't enough men out there well what's gonna happen there won't be enough in your life but there will be enough in a home girl over there so you need to start thinking there is enough men out here i do not need to be killing myself over this bummy person who is not adding value to my life I need to leave. Long story short, there are plenty of men out there and if the one that you are currently speaking to, dealing with, whatever the case may be, isn't adding value to your life, get rid of him and move on. You will find someone or at least having a peace of mind is better than even going around and chasing men, you know? So the next lesson, which is similar to my last lesson, but basically is the fact that Lori puts herself first. Essentially, she's ready to leave any situation or relationship that's not benefiting her. She's not scared. She doesn't like prolong a situation more than it needs to be. She will leave. And you guys can argue and say, oh, it's because of her finances, because she's pretty this and that. But at the end of the day, no, it's because she has a mindset where she tells herself, I'm the ish. And because I'm the ish, I don't need to stay somewhere where it's going to make me feel like I'm not the ish. So you need to start adopting that as well. And I need to start adopting that. We need to start thinking, how is this situation benefiting me? And if it's not, th there's no reason for me to keep trying to tell myself that things will change or this and that. If a guy has shown you his true colors, that is it. You need to move on. Like, it's as simple as that. And I don't know why. I'm also guilty of this in the past, but we start excusing the red flags that are literally in front of our faces like a red flag will literally slap us and we'll still proceed to go on and it's like girl you are seeing this bs like are, are you not what like this is unhealthy ultimately never ever ever be afraid to walk away because that's your superpower you want men to think that you're about your business and everything you say you mean if you're out here saying no nah, i'll leave you this and that he does something bad and then you stay you're not about your business and then over time he ain't even going to respect you because you say one thing but you're doing another thing so it's really important that you ultimately for your own self-esteem but also for the respect of the man that you're seeing let him know and you actually show that you're about your business if he's not going to add value to you and he's going to mentally train you you're out there's no if what's worth but this that no you're gone point blank period and the last lesson so rule six something i have learned from laurie is the fact that she stays elevating and focusing on herself every mainstream relationship that she's been with she has upgraded in some form obviously physically but also career-wise, like she has her business now. She could have just stayed dating people and not have no business or nothing to her portfolio, but she actually started her own skincare line. And that's something that I feel like we as women should use to our advantage. Whenever we've gone through something that is toxic, whether that's a situation, relationship, prolonged talking stage, whatever you want to call it, make sure you're making it a habit to elevate in some sort grow from the experience learn from the experience and do better choose better it's really important that you actually learn from your experiences like sit down and write like a two to three page report on the dating experience with said person and analyze everything you did if you can remember certain conversations analyze that and think why did i act like that and that way you're actually going to be very intentional moving forward and you're not going to make them same mistakes sometimes you have to do the most in order to 
attract better in order to do better and most importantly in order to choose better i kind of go on a tangent just to say elevate in all aspects of your life physically emotionally financially spiritually um mentally like this is your time whenever you've come out of something toxic try your best not to go back to the smelly bug but instead use that time to focus on yourself and elevate and i promise you it will be the best decision you'll ever make in your life okay guys so that is it for the video that's it for the girl chat if you're listening on the thriving boss Hub podcast hey hi thank you so much for listening um make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more and i'll see you guys very soon bye